Welcome to Marine Data Solutions. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the PepWave Max BR1, also known as the Marine Data Solutions MDS242. Uh, what we're going to do today is show you how to set up the APNs and pick which system you're using, whether it be the America's SIM card or the Bahamas SIM card. So in order to access the system, your laptop must be connected either wirelessly or wired to your boat's network. Once you're connected to that network and you're sure you're connected, you're going to open up a browser, be it Safari, Chrome, or Explorer. In that browser, you're going to put in the address at the top here, 192.168.50.1. And once you do that, that dials directly into the software of our PepWave, and it's asking for a username and password. Uh, the username is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and the password is the same, A-D-M-I-N. Enter those, press the login button, and it's going to take you directly to the internal programming page. If you look at this page, you see at the top on the left, it says cellular. And you can also see that we're connected to the T-Mobile LTE network. And if you continue looking to the left, there's a little button that says details. We're going to press that button, and that's going to take us to our next screen. And on this screen, you've got the ability to look at, SIM. you see at the top, it says SIM card A or SIM card B. Well, right now, we're going to look at SIM card A because we want to check the APN. So we're going to scroll down on this page. And about the middle of the page to the left, you'll see right here, it says APN. You see it right there? That's what we're looking for, APN. Okay, so on the APN, just above that, it says operator settings. So you've got automatic, means it's gonna automatically pick the APN for your SIM card, or custom. Our SIM cards, some are auto, some are custom, depending on the, pro, uh, the plan that you select, we will let you know what those APNs should be. But when it's on, if it's gonna be anything other than auto, you've gotta select this custom button right here. And once you select that button, you type in what you need in this field right here, and we'll let you know what, what that value should be. Uh, if your selection should be auto, you put the little dot there next to auto and what's written on that APN field becomes irrelevant. So for the USA, we'll let you know what the APN should be. For the Bahamas, uh, which we usually put SIM card B for Bahamas and SIM card A for the Americas. So let's go over here to SIM card B. Uh, if we're going to the Bahamas, SIM card B should be selected to, the APN should be set to auto. And one other thing with the Bahamas is we want to turn the roaming on. And if you see this little button right here, corresponds all the way to the left to where it says data roaming. For the Bahamas, we want to turn on data roaming because there's some places where uh, you, you need a blend of both available services to get the best coverage. Uh, but for the U.S., we do not want data roaming turned on. Uh, so again, SIM card A is the America, SIM card B is Bahamas. And if you look up at the top of this page, you'll see where you select those cards. You never want to select both SIMs because the system gets confused and it doesn't work very well all the time. Uh, we think it's much more, uh, it's a better way to just pick which SIM you need when you're there. So when you're in the U.S., you're going to pick SIM A only. When you're in the Bahamas, you're going to pick SIM B only. Okay, so once you've got your APNs in and you've got whichever SIM you want to use at the time, then we're going to scroll down here to the bottom of the page. You see it says Save and Apply. We're going to press that button. And it's going to take you back. It's going to show you what your signal strength is and give you all kind of information. Uh, if you scroll down a little more, you see you got some device information, tells you what's going on, how much data you've used, and there's some other stuff in here. Um, but those are your critical settings for APNs and how you pick which card you're using.